So I don't have a lot of the specifics when it comes to the Sandy Hook lawsuit with Alex Jones and all that kind of stuff. But what I know for sure is probably going to get financially ruined over this, especially with this ruling that came down today and how many pending lawsuits kind of hinged on this one dropping as well. And I really like Alex Jones. He's incredibly informative. Okay, you, you also got to parse out all of the hyperbole from the actual facts. And there's nobody who's more entertaining that's out there, literally full stop, okay? And I know what he's actually said about Sandy Hook has been taken both out of context and completely and totally misrepresented by anybody with a microphone, anybody with a camera. We're not going to go back into all of the history. We're just going to take a look at this landmark ruling here from today. Infowars host and conspiracy theorist, mm, whatever, uh, Alex Jones has been found liable for defamation after claiming the Sandy Hook school massacre was a hoax. Imagine that. They can only put one word in scare quotes. A judge ruled Monday. Connecticut Superior Court Judge Jar uh, Barbara Bellis ruled that Jones, he's only 47, huh, I guess being that mad for that long really does take a toll on a motherfucker, uh, was liable for, oh, was liable by default after he was sued by parents of some of the children killed in the 2012 2012 and now we're just finally starting to get to the end game of this uh shooting at sandy hook elementary school in newtown connecticut okay the family said that they'd been subjected to harassment and death threats from jones's followers in the wake of his comments all right how much of that evidence has actually ever been brought to light or proven? Jones had been peddling the conspiracy theory on his InfoWars website that the shooting, again, I already know that this isn't true, but this is the way that even a right-leaning website is going to paint it because they're scared of alt tech and they're scared of alternative media. And that's Alex Jones. He's basically the face of that for better or for worse. He's definitely the biggest and the most successful at whether by hook or by by crook taking his brand taking his name off of those major platforms mostly by force but been the most successful at it but yeah uh, apparently at least according to the new york post uh, i left or that he batted around the conspiracy theory that they were all crisis actors even though i've heard him talk about this on multiple occasions that he was just simply batting around the idea that some people had presented to him and never legitimately stated that was his actual intent or purpose and again none of these people have produced any of their so-called harassing or, or harassment or death threats but whatever yeah it left uh, 20 children and school or six school employees dead so again you're gonna financially ruin somebody for something that uh this bag of shit adam lanza did they used the bushmaster ar-15 style rifle leading to widespread debate about gun control in the country yeah it was super successful right uh, Lanza committed suicide after the massacre. Let's just have a moment of uh, real reflection for that heroic action. Just the final shot at the end. Uh, I really wish he would have just reversed everything that happened then and then just uh, put his closing material up front. Judge hasn't yet determined how much in damages Jones will have to pay to the families. The default decision was handed down after Joe's, Jared Jones refused to turn over documents ordered by the court, including financial records, the judge said. Oh, okay, cool. So he didn't want to, or maybe didn't even know about certain things that the court continues to pester him about therefore he needs to be completely and totally financially destroyed seems to make sense this is going to get appealed it would have to be lawyers for the plaintiffs had argued they need the financial records to show if and how jones and infowars may have profited from talking about the school massacre and other mass shootings how could you possibly quantify that from sheer raw financial data that don't make any sense Jones's lawyers denied violating court rules for a document disclosure and pushed for the judge to be removed from the case, accusing her of being impartial. Seems about right. Oh, you don't want to uh, continue to adhere to my willy-nilly rules? Well, fuck you, pay everybody. Legal victory for the parents comes after a Texas judge issued similar rulings last month against Jones and three defamation lawsuits brought against him uh, in his home state. So yeah, how many more cases are out there? Well, apparently there's six in Connecticut. Okay, and like it shows here, this is an 
old, old, old subject matter, okay? So it's one lawsuit in six families, so who even knows? We'll see if we'll just try to figure out how much money this lawsuit is actually asking for. Six more families of victims killed in the Sandy Hook massacre and an FBI agent who responded to the scene. Interesting. Our suing conspiracy monger. Oh boy. Alex Jones over his on-air claims that the shooting was a hoax. Yeah, you just mischaracterize you. Go for it. Uh, the suit filed Wednesday in Connecticut followed a separate one. Oh, separate but similar one uh, brought by two other Sandy Hook families in April and alleges that the relatives endured harassment, death threats, and emotional distress after Jones and other InfoWars guests claimed that they were just actors. All right. Because of Jones and his co-conspirators' campaigns of unconscionable lies, many thousands of people currently believe that our clients faked their loved ones' deaths. All right. Attorney Matt Blumenthal ugh, said in a statement, these families have been continually harassed and abused as a result, all while attempting to face fathomless loss. Today they say no more. Unless, of course, they're talking about their bank account where they're saying a lot fucking more the suit was filed by the parents of four kids uh who were killed by adam lanza but didn't sue the lanza family that's weird open fire at newtown's sandy hook elementary school in 2012 and yeah of course no slight against the kids that were killed that's fucking terrible but using it as an opportunity to try to squeeze money out of somebody who was speculating on the entire situation and then also just trying to push your weird gun control narrative again none of this shit really seems that stable at least to me Several pages of the court documents are filed with abusive and outrageous comments from Jones's radio show, YouTube videos, and the InfoWars website. <gasps> it took me about a year I was Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake, he quoted as saying on one show. I mean, even if, oh, even I couldn't believe it, I knew they jumped on it, used, my, oh, used the crisis, hyped it up, and then I did a deep research, and my gosh, it just pretty much didn't happen. I'm sure that is 100% representative of his actual opinion and isn't taken out of context of his, what, daily five-hour radio show? Yeah, no, you're allowed to question things in America, that's not defamation, he said in a video response. Boy, I hope you're, I hope you're true, I hope you're true on that one, because that's fucking dangerous-ass precedent, okay? You get something wrong when you're just trying to work something out in your head, work something out on the microphone, and just trying to engage with your audience, even as crazy as some of them are. If you can't do that, well, that's just a clear and honest Assault on the First Amendment rights afforded to every single American that are out there. Unless, of course, you're in Connecticut and you have some politically motivated judge who just has something against you because my kids and all that stuff. Now, like I said, total tragedy, okay? But then again, uh, Alex Jones uh, did nothing wrong. With that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been John Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.